Hey everyone, welcome to a Let's Play series of Mega Man 3. I'm revisiting this game from back in the day when I when I did my first set of videos back on YouTube back in 08. Um, I'm going to break this down into three episodes. This first episode will have the first six Robot Masters defeated, and the second episode will have the final two Robot Masters defeated plus the four ro Dark Robot battles. And then the third episode, which will have the Breakman fight plus the castles. So, welcome to James Plays Mega Man 3, and let's go ahead and get this party started, shall we? And of course, we have our eight robot masters, and we're gonna start with Top Man. Can't promise you this playthrough will be smooth. Um, I haven't played Mega Man 3 in a long time. So I guarantee you, most likely, you ain't gonna see good. You might see a game over here and there. It's possible. Very possible. Especially if I mess up. This is being played off the Steam version of Mega Man as uh, collection. What I want to know is if you're a Mega Man fan, what is your favorite Mega Man uh, game in the series? And, um... Who else, uh, what we also could ask is, who is your favorite Robot Master in the series? Of course, this was like one of my favorite Mega Man games growing up. Um, I used to rent this game a lot from my local video store. Uh, this is what actually got me into loving Mega Man. And my neighbor had Mega Man 2, so I played Mega Man 2 uh, after 3. So I went backwards on that one. But uh, I, I love 3. 3 is my favorite. 4 is my other favorite. I know mostly everybody's favorite is 2. 2 is great. I think 2 is an amazing uh, Mega Man title. I think it's probably one of the best ones out there, honestly. You made it to top, man. Normally I can avoid those. He's the easiest robot master to face. So the robot master that's weak to top spin will be Shadow Man. Now Shadow Man he can be tough, especially if you don't use the top spin correctly. You can waste the top spin in a matter of, of a couple of uses because if you don't uh, manage it correctly. And we're going to have our first encounter with Breakman, which is Proto Man, which looks like Proto Man, but it's not. Thank you. 
Now, there are four Dark Robot Master stages that are after the eight main Robot Masters. And they are, um... One of the stages we're in right now ends up being a Dark Robot Master stage. Uh, once we beat all eight Robot Masters. And the stages become a little tougher. And there's two Robot Masters per stage because they actually, um... Utilize Mega Man 2's Robot Masters. Mega Man 2's Robot Masters, but they're actually tougher. The trick that I do there is I run up the platform and go back so that way they come up they they, they forcefully appear. Because you go to if I jump to the next platform, they they'll land on me. Then they may hit me so hard that I'll, I'll get knocked off. So that's what I do. I do that little jump and go back so that way they can come out and I can hit them from afar. Stay safe, I guess you could say. And that one I have to be careful with because sometimes I've gotten knocked back and I'll loot and I'll die. Well, we made it. So hopefully we can actually beat, uh... Battle Man here. You see how I used all of it? But it killed him. Sometimes if you... Sometimes you can use it to where it uses a little bit of weapon energy each time, but... Yeah. We got Battle Blade and Rush Marine, which we don't use Rush Marine that much in this game. That's a great I uh, item to use, though. Alright, so Shadow Man. There's two Robot Masters here that are weak to Shadow Man. Shadow Blade. One being Spark Man. And then I'll tell you the other one once we get to it. Spark Man being another stage uh, for the Dark Robot Masters. And Sparkman has an awesome theme as well. I like his, uh, his theme music here. Those are sometimes tricky to get through. Not my favorite set of, not my favorite menu uh, in this game. In this Mega Man series, it's not my favorite menu. This menu is one of the least ones I, I like. I prefer like the one they use in two, one, two, and then so forth. A long drop down, which we call a dramatic drop. Now, I knew I was going to die. I knew I was going to die trying to do what I'm doing. Do it. Here we go again.
Just like, uh, early, just like, yeah, like these bolts, I like to make sure they appear a little ahead of me so that way I don't get hit. Sometimes they're tricky. I made it. Sometimes I'm questionable, like, why are these bosses weak to some of these items? The Shadow Blade. Parkman's weak to the Shadow Blade. We got spark shock so the next one we're gonna go after will be magic man magnet man magnet man is weak to the spark shot This will be our next battle with Breakman. We're gonna be coming up to some invisible blocks soon that we gotta cross. Which is in this section. I screwed up. Hit jump and it doesn't it didn't jump. Ah, stupid magnet got me. The thing is, I'm not the best at those patterns, but you just gotta kind of visually look at them, try to memorize them if you can. All 
All right, made it to Mega Man. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the spark shot. So Spark Shot takes care of Mag man, gotten demagnetized. Alright, so we're gonna go with Magnet Missile. Alright, the next robot master we're gonna go to that's weak to Magnet Missile will be Hard Man. Which Hardman does, I think, hit literally, no pun intended, the hardest of the robot groups in this game. And the uh, eight robot masters, rather. You need to watch out for these bees that drop that shell with more bees in it. What I'm really hopeful for that Capcom does is release a Mega Man 12. Mega Man 11 was amazing. Loved Mega Man 11. I wish they would... This is my own humble opinion, of course. I wish they would actually remaster the first six Mega Mans in, this, in the style of Mega Man 11, but I know that would probably never happen. Oh, come on. I think Dagnon just hit. Yeah. I don't like the menus in Mega Man 3. I don't know why they did it like that. I mean, I guess they were trying to experiment, but yeah, not their best menus. Are there any games out there you guys are looking forward to? Coming up in the future, anything or anything you all wish you had remastered? Let me know down below. Always come in handy. Our next fight with Breakman. Always helpful as well. Alright, let me bust out the magnet missiles. You'll see why Hardman's weak to this one. of hard man there now the weird thing about the weaknesses in this Mega Man 3 is that okay hard man who's weak to hard man's hard punch top man this hard knuckle sorry top man is weak to the hard knuckle so we've beaten five we have one more to do before this video ends the Robot Master that is weak against the Shadow Man Shadow Blade would be, um, I believe it's Snake Man.
It's weird because you would think the hard knuckle would hurt one of those three and they really don't do much damage. But I like Snake Man's team, so... One of my favorites in this game. Next to Gemini Man. Time to keep going up and um So my next game video uh video set we're gonna do is Super Marvel keep it in the three suit three set is Super Marvel vs. three. I love Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 is my favorite Mario game in the Mario series. So we'll do Super Mario Bros. 3. We'll probably break. We'll probably do it in Worlds of Two, where I will do that jump scares me sometimes. Or we'll do two worlds each, Mario 3 since there's eight worlds. So, looking forward to doing that as the next uh, video series redo, I guess you could say. Revisit. Now, I may use the E-Tank here. Or I might actually take the L here. How many lives do I have? One? One plus a zero, two? We'll see. If I get enough damage on him, then I'll use the E-Tank right away. If not, I'll take the L and do it again. Yeah, because if you try using any other item on them, it doesn't really work. Shadow Blade is the one that's next weakest for Snake Man. He's gotta know the pattern. We got Search Snake. So, on the next video, episode 2 of the Mega Man 3 three part series. We're going to go to Gemini Man, Needle Man, and then we're going to do the four Dark Robot Masters. And then on the third and final episode, we will actually end up doing um, Break Man and the Castle. So I will see you on the next episode of James Plays Mega Man 3, Episode 2. Thanks for hanging out. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. If you don't, you know what to do. But I appreciate y'all. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next episode. Laters.